everybody welcome back on my channel thank you for tuning in today i want to visit one of my favorite places with you it's a medieval castle that is situated approximately 80 kilometers northeast of frankfurt and if you have seen my video my creepy little halloween story you will already know it it's burg steckelberg or the castle of steckelberg but before I climb up to the castle with you, I have to show you a little village that lies at the foot of the castle hill. Its name is Ramholz. Let's take a look around. I'm standing here in the enchanting Chateau Park of Ramholz. In the year 1893, the industrialist Baron Hugo Rudolf von Stumm charged the building of this beautiful castle in the manner of historism. The building unifies style elements of Gothic, Renaissance, Baroque, Classicism and Jugendstil, and it has 80 rooms. The core of this castle has an even older history as it was built on the remains of a late medieval manor from 1482. The aristocratic family who occupied this manor was the noble stock of Hutten, the same family that owned the castle I want to show you today. Yeah, I could explore this Chateau Park for hours, but I have a long way ahead of me. I want to show you the castle. Yeah, let's go. Oh, 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 
Yeah guys, this unremarkable footpath leads to a fabulous little gem in the middle of these woods here that I didn't want to withhold from you. Come on, let's check it out. This grotto with a sculpture of Syrinx and Pan once was part of a huge rose garden. Now it's abandoned and overgrown. Isn't it a romantic place of morbid beauty? Man, oh man, <laughs> the last stage of my way up to the castle is this steep hill and that's the source of the castle's name by the way. Steckelberg or Stechelnberg is the middle high German term for steep mountain. And believe me, this hill is really steep. This is Burg Steckelberg. Isn't it a musical place? So beautiful. Not far away from here you can find the remains of a former castle and even a medieval ramp art. The castle was the forerunner residence of the house of Steckelberg between 1131 and 1391. In 1276 the castle was illegally occupied by robber knights who used the castle as a base from where they robbed travelers and traders on a nearby trading road. On the 14th of October 1276 King Rudolf I commanded the destruction of the castle and he ordered that the fortress shall never be rebuilt. In 1388, Ulrich von Hutten I, whose mother was a member of the House of Steckelberg, edified this castle here in disrespect to the king's order. But his actions remained unpunished as he simply built the fortress at another place and he assigned the property rights of the castle to the Bishop of Würzburg.
the most famous resident of Steckelberg Castle was the scholar and reformer Ulrich von Hutten IV. He was born in 1488 and was the leader of the Reichsritter, the imperial knights of the Holy Roman Empire. He also was a humanist and poet. Von Hutten wrote a noted letter in which he described the tedious life in a medieval castle. It was dark, moist, cold, and the smoke of the fires and wooden candles burned in the eyes and lungs. In summertime, the castle often stunk because of the feces that were let into the moat. At nighttime, you could hear the howl of the wolves. I once read that Ulrich von Hutten was a friend of Martin Luther and that Luther nearly visited Hutten here in this castle when he was traveling from Frankfurt to Eisenach. Imagine that, what a great history this place got here. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little excursion into the history of my neck of the woods and I hope that you will join me on my next trip too. By then I wish you all the best, goodbye, au revoir and auf Wiedersehen.